So firstly, what is Septoria and why is it so challenging to manage? Septoria starts to develop when a fungal spore lands on the leaf. Then fungal hyphae start to grow inside the leaf. The fungal hyphae continue to grow inside the leaf without any visible symptoms until two to three weeks later when visible yellowy brown legions with black pycnidia appear on the leaf surface. The challenging part of controlling this disease is that fungicides are only effective in the early stages of this infection cycle and different products and rates are appropriate depending on how far through this infection cycle you are. Septoria management is further complicated by many interplaying variables which influence the disease of development. These include factors that we can influence, including drilling day, variety choice and fungicide application, and also factors out of our control, including winter weather and spring rainfall. When we are making fungicide decisions in the spring, we can consider all of these factors. However, we can't see how those factors have actually influenced disease levels, particularly in the upper leaves. This makes it difficult to make the right decision between a more protectant or more curative product choice and rate. This technology is designed to help unlock that unknown by providing you with more information to help inform and justify fungicide choice. For example, if we knew the real levels of disease inside your crop's leaf 2 at the T2 timing, we would be able to use this information to help us choose the most appropriate rate of, for example, ASCRA and decide whether to use a multi-site. This will not only help make your fungicide choice more appropriate, it will also make your spend more appropriate, issuing better value for money from your fungicide choice.